Welcome back to the channel for another video on our 22 WRX. In the last video, we went over one year of ownership. Uh, this car is non-stopped, kept impressing me. Um, every mod that we put on improves the overall, uh, everything about the car. I mean, it looks really good now with our wheels and suspension, but with one year of owning the car is just a little bit of maintenance. But after one year, um, I am gonna be swapping out the cabin air filter inside of the car. So I'm going to go over where that is, how to take it out, and I'll show you the OEM replacement that we have. The cabin air filter is the air filter that filters the air um, that you breathe inside of the car. So um, this is recommended just to like swap out once a year. It's only 20 bucks at your local Subaru dealership. You'll see why we use the OEM one from Subaru. Um, it does have like a plastic cover that does slide into its spot with little clips. So I'm not sure if the aftermarket's gonna like make something for that, but like I said, it's only 20 bucks at your local Subaru dealership. I gave them a call and uh, I mean, they had it in stock. I'm sure we can order it online as well. So I'll put a link in the description. So if you guys just wanna order it, you guys can just go ahead and order it. But enough talking, let me get you guys set up and we'll get this cabin air filter taken out. Let's go. All right, so we're inside the car. Your cabin air filter is located behind your glove box. So we're gonna have to remove this. But don't worry, you don't need any tools to do this job. So you're gonna open your glove box. It's just easier to take everything out. I don't got anything in mind. You have your like little plunger over here that like make sure it doesn't like drop. So right here, just put your thumb, pull out to the right, and then pinch in and pull down. And then from there, you can just pull straight out. And there's your glove box. All right, so with the glove box removed, this is what it should look like. I got the light shining so we can see what's going on. You can see here, this is where our cabin air filter is. So pinch down on each clip. It's hard to do it with one hand, but still doable. And then pull right out. All right, so let's go to the bench and we'll check it out. All right, back at the bench for our quick comparison. You can obviously see the dirty one is on the right and our brand new OEM Super one is on the left. So this is why we went with the OEM one. I'm not sure if the aftermarket's gonna, I mean, unless it comes with two separate ones, then you'd have to like rip these out because this is like glued in. And just if anyone needs, there's the part number. It'll also be in the link in the description as well. But enough comparison, there's really no, nothing left to look at. So let's get this thrown back in and we'll finish this up. All right, so we're back in the car. We're just gonna do everything in reverse order. So you do want it to look like this when you slide it in. So it kind of goes up. So let's just slide it back in. Get a nice little click once it's in. And that is all set and you can just pull on it just a little bit yeah, it doesn't do it. and then for this you can see we got the clips right there matching down here so just line that up and then don't forget your little plunger push it up and that's it put everything back in your glove box and this install is all done. Well, that's all I got for you guys on this one. Short, quick little video replacing our cabin air filter. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more 2022 WX content. Till next time. See you guys.